Greetings from Claremont, Florida. That's Lake Mineola behind us. We'll have some more scenes of that. But we're doing a back and forth along the south shore of, of uh, Lake Mineola, starting here in Claremont. This nice water fountain, this, this beautiful park. It's called Victory Park. I don't, Victory over what? I don't know. But um, way off in the distance there, you can see the Citrus Tower from which it's rumored you could actually see citrus at one point. I think you might be able to see, see Orange County by this point, but otherwise it's a bunch of subdivisions. All right, we'll be joining, you'll be joining us here. Okay, there's the Pioneer Village sort of place. And there's the Whistle Stop Bar and Restaurant up there. We'll see that in a moment. It looks like they're preparing for something. Let me go over to the Pioneer Village a little closer. Right, in case you're wondering, there goes a cyclist on the cycle trail. There's Blake Mineola, and more importantly, an outhouse. Woo! All kinds of newfangled facilities here in the little Pioneer Village sort of area. They have some older buildings. There's an old church. I guess that's an old schoolroom. Can't tell from here. And there's the Cooper Memorial Library. And then there's an antique cyclist looking in the Veterans Hall. Oh, sorry, that's Carolyn. Not an antique. Don't tell. Don't tell her I said that. All right. Um, apparently, it is a school. That's Lincoln School Park. And yes, my workout paused because I stopped here to record. Funny story there. I also have fall detection turned on. So when I fall, and I have tested that a few times, it has said, "Have you fallen?" However, one time I was uh, riding along and I discovered, I decided to uh, have a conversation with a, the side of an Amazon truck. Laying there on the ground afterwards, it said, workout paused. So that's the uh, Captain Obvious setting of the Apple Watch. I didn't know there was a Captain Obvious setting, but you do know now. Workout paused. I have been mispronouncing this lake and it turns out it's Lake Minnehaha. So there must be a lot of humor involved in this lake because it's, well, maybe a small amount of humor. That's because it's Minnehaha. Like, like many of my jokes, they're slightly funny. We are in a little food courty section and there's a dog wash. I don't know why you need a dog wash. And there's a other stuff here too. There's a streamline, airstream rather serving food. There's a whistle stop. Whistle stop over here. We'll wet our whistle there. Let's see if it, see if it works. Nope, doesn't work. Doesn't stop my whistle. All right. Sweet Joe's. Pardon the uh, music, but there's a... Guess what this is? A John Deere ice cream churn. Sponsored by Ario Speedwagon, apparently. I so want one of these, a Model A. That'd be fun. If I had a garage and any sorts of, any sense of um, mechanical nature, that'd be fun. Well, there's Lake Mini Haha. And then, so we've left downtown, which is about a hundred yards that way. And they, re they re uh, refurbished quite a bit of it. Uh, not that it needed refurbishing, but it's quite nice now. They extended the sidewalks and stuff. So, all right, next stop is the next stop. All right, just behind me, just behind you, is Highway 27, which goes all the way from Miami to Chicago, I think. Though we will not be doing that route today, at least not on the bicycles. But it's always a good time to stop for a donut especially one that's bigger than me. Wow, I wonder if it's scratch and sniff. Could be. So this is uh, Highway 27 with the trucks on top there, as you can hear. Let me turn the camera around. So lots of nice artwork. Now, this has been redone since we were here last. Not that it was particularly bad, but oh, is that a chicken or what is that? All right, oh, here's a cycling one and that's citrus tower a rendition of citrus tower with a robot 
cyclist who apparently doesn't ride well because look at all the scratches on their knees and stuff. But uh, that's because right down the street here is the tallest hill that you can cycle in Florida called Sugar Mountain or something. It's like um, 300 feet down. Uh, I should try that sometime. Let's see what speed I can get up to. Oh, murals of, on the trail, city of Mineola. Oh, I'm taking my pulse. Seems to be 126. Though it wasn't a moment ago, because this is not the Sugar Loaf Mountain or Sugar Mountain, whatever it's called, but it's nearby. It's further that way actually just up this road and then um but you can see yeah, it's a pretty good climb on this one not on that bike she's on an e-bike i'm on a me bike so i'm me biking on my defy three giant defy three carbon fiber bike all right Pulse is down to 106. Okay, I can ride again. Downhill. So earlier we saw the doggy wash. I found the people wash. Well, here we are riding along the moss-covered trail some more near Claremont and Lake Minnehaha, Miniola, something rather. And uh, it's quite a nice ride. It's a Friday. It's the 10th of, Fe 10th of November. And uh, about to ride off trail, so you're about to get a little bumpy. Wait a minute. Let me go this way. So this concludes our ride along that lake, past these lily pads. Who else is down there with us, watching us? Don't know. And then we're going to ride. We're going to drive to a Winter Garden, which we could theoretically ride to, but uh, we'll ride there a little bit, and then maybe post some things. And I think we earned a mini donut or two. All right, see you in a little bit. Thank you.